I'm in the chair, shed, suit, and the jar shape called Gemmet Eem. It's only because it's broken, it's falling down. Gemmet! That's crazy, right? Howard! Dude, that's Gemmet. crazy. Good evening! Of course, the Amazing. The resonance, like you can hear it, like it rings like a bell. And the only reason we can do that is because the Abbas is broken and standing up, but they all could ring like bells. Musical instruments, harmony, resonance. So, what you've just witnessed is the fact that this segment of an obelisk resonates to a one specific frequency and one frequency only. And that backs up the theory that the original function of the obelisk was not something to be written on to glorify a pharaoh or other kind of ruler, but in fact was designed to be tuned to a specific frequency because it was part of an ancient system of energy transmission of some kind. Possibly the Great Pyramid and other pyramids on the Giza Plateau were energy generators based on water traveling underneath the surface through tunnels which I've been in causing the Great Pyramid itself to resonate and that almost like Wi-Fi that signal went out to the obelisk and the obelisk collected it and created a localized space of energy of some kind. Was it used for electricity? No, probably not. It's probably very subtle energy used for higher mental function. And if that is the case, that and the Great Pyramid and other some other structures on the Giza Plateau predate the dynastic Egyptians and when the dynastic Egyptians showed up 5,000 years ago, they simply inherited and renamed the structures themselves. And that's also why we do not find, and have not found, any bodies inside the pyramids, because they were not, at least in the case of the Giza Plateau, the three big pyramids, they were not created as tombs. They were created as energetic structure by a mysterious high-tech culture, whether you want to believe it or not. Thank you.